Hey, what's up you guys? It's Kiki here and today we're gonna do a makeup tutorial. I actually kind of struggled naming this tutorial, so we're just gonna go with like Neo Iruma soft anime girl cosplay makeup. So here we go, I'm applying a wig cap and then I'm putting another wig cap on top just to keep everything kind of in place, keep my hair out of my face and also to secure my wig later. Since this is a cosplay look, we're gonna start out with bright blue contacts. Make sure your hands are clean and make sure your contacts are not expired. We're gonna start out by priming our face so our foundation is gonna apply smoothly and there's not gonna be any pores. Next up we've got foundation. Don't forget to wet your beauty sponge. And I'm applying that all over my face, including my lips. I am then using a concealer to draw a triangle shape under my eye and highlight the bridge of my nose. And also go over my lips again. Using a very light cream contour, I'm contouring my jawline just softly and also the side of my nose. And it's time to blend all of that out. <laughs> Make sure you really get into those creases and blend it down your neck. I then get up my little container of setting powder and set especially below my eyes but also all over my face. The setting process will help keep the makeup flawless and poreless. It's time to do eyeshadow. Going in with a bright pink shade and a fluffy smoky eye brush, I'm going in into the outer corner of my eye. And it's better to gradually build pigment instead of going all in, so take your time with those steps. And we're gonna use a purple and a smaller crease brush to kind of blend in more depth into the shadow. Make sure you're not smudging it across the lid. Depending on your eye shape, you want to blend it downwards or upwards. Next up, going in with a warm brown and a packed over brush, we're gonna create a new waterline. Make sure you're not doing it too harshly and it's well blended into the pink. The goal is to create the anime eye shape using eyeshadow. Next up, we're gonna grab a cold gray tone and we're gonna deepen and blend both shades into each other. The eyeshadow for this look is quite simple actually, so it's a quick look. Next up, we're gonna do eyeliner. I usually don't do like a wing, but I chose to have a more skinny eyeliner for this look. Connect the wing to the middle of your eyelid and fill it out. Repeat on the other side. I felt like the little wing was fitting for such a soft feminine look. You're gonna take the eyeliner and then extend it a little past so it meets your artificial waterline. Next up, you're gonna take your packed oval brush and black eyeshadow and blend out your eyeliner upwards. And as you can see, that kind of destroyed the wing, so we're gonna take a concealer brush and line the bottom of the eyeliner wing so it's nice and sharp again. Then to create the anime eye look, we're gonna use the eyeliner again to overline our inner corner. Carefully connect the two pieces of the eyeliner and do corrections. Attach your four slashes, they can be a lot bigger than you would normally go for because we are doing a cosplay look. And blend them in with your natural lashes using mascara. Here's my shitty box of bottom lashes. I took a pair and attached them to my false waterline. Once your bottom lashes are attached, take your eyeliner and do corrections and connect the lashes to the bottom lashes. Since she's a blonde, we're gonna use gray for her brows. I'm using a precision brush for the ends and a fluffy brush to create a gradient towards the inner corner of the eyebrows. After we fill our brows, we're gonna use concealer again and the concealer brush and we're gonna carve out those eyebrows for some real precision. Fleek! I'm using orangish red pink for most blushes and I'm just applying it to the tip of my nose and my cheeks. Uh, be careful not to go below your cheekbone. So the lips are kind of complicated, I'm going for like the anime pouty look and I'm using a natural color on my bottom lip and I'm carefully patting it out outwards so it creates the look of like soft big lips. Make sure to not get into the corners of your mouth since we want the lips to kind of be like an oval shape instead of like your natural lip shape. For the top lip I'm over tapping, I'm not actually drawing over the, my cupid's bow but I'm tapping so it's a more natural overlined look and creates these nice soft lips. When I use any other technique for like lipstick, then I will look like 20 years older, so I really like this look. We're then gonna highlight the bridge of our nose and our inner corner. I just use sparkly eyeshadow, I don't even own a highlighter. You can also highlight your brow bone if you like. So that completes the look, let's get into cosplay. 
I really hope you liked this video. I hope you want to see more of this in the future because I'm gonna post more of it. And yeah, hope you're having a good day. Stay healthy.